Arizona Cardinals defensive end J.J. Watt has offered to cover the funeral costs for all the victims of the Waukesha Christmas Parade tragedy, according to one report. At least six people were killed killed and dozens more were injured on Sunday when the driver of a red SUV plowed into a crowd of people at an annual Christmas parade in Watt's Wisconsin hometown. According to local media, Watt has offered to cover the funeral costs. Point five victims were initially identified as 81 year old Wilhelm Hospel, 79 year old Virginia Sorensen, 71 year old Leanna Owen, 52 year old Tamara Durand, and 52 year old Jane Kulik. An eight year old child, Jackson Sparks, was identified as the sixth victim. He underwent brain surgery on Sunday night but succumbed to his injuries on Tuesday night. Watt, who was born in Waukesha and played football at Pukey High School, took to Twitter after learning of the horrific incident. Arizona Cardinals defensive end J.J. Watt celebrates a defensive stop against the Houston Texans during the first half of an NFL football game, Sunday, October 24, 2021, in Glendale, our eyes. Just now seeing what happened at the holiday parade back home in Waukesha tonight. Horrific images, his tweet read. Truly hoping everyone is going to be okay and those not involved are now safe. Thankful to everyone who rushed to action and helped the wounded. Brothers Derek Watt and TJ Watt, who play for the Pittsburgh Steelers, also shared their thoughts on social media. JJ Watt No. 99 of the Houston Texans and brother Derek Watt No. 34 of the Los Angeles Chargers walk off the field following the Texans' 27-20 victory over the Chargers at Dignity Health Sports Park on September 22, 2019 in Carson, California. Thinking of all those affected by the senseless tragedy tonight back home in Waukesha, Wisconsin. This news truly is heartbreaking to see, Derek Watt wrote. Daryl Brooks Jr., 39, was charged Tuesday with five counts of first-degree intentional homicide, a charge that carries a mandatory life sentence if convicted. Prosecutors say he will likely face additional charges. Thank you for watching. Please, subscribe.